What's up guys, welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, I'm Tatum. And last weekend I went to Nashville and while I was there, I was with one of my best friends from college and we shopped for two days straight. So I have a $1,500 haul here with me. The most money I've ever spent on vacation by far. And I just wanted to show you guys all of the fabulous things I got. Um, I'll tell you the stores that things came from, the price things were, just so if you're going to Nashville or if you wanted to find these stores online, you could have the same stuff. So let's dive right in. So of course, the first thing we did when we were in Nashville was bought cowgirl boots. So these are from, I don't know if the brand is Lucchese, Lucchese, but it was the first store we went to. These are leather boots that just reek of leather. Like my whole room for the past few days that we've been back have just, it's been smelling of leather. So these are absolutely fabulous. I wanted to get taller brown ones for my first pair of like legitimate cowgirl boots because I wear brown all the time. It goes with all my purses, goes with everything that I wear. So I'm absolutely obsessed with these. So comfortable. Apparently boots, like cowgirl, cowboy boots, are supposed to be tighter in the toe and then loose enough on your heel that it picks up when you walk. So I found that out from this store. And if you're going to Nashville, I definitely suggest going to a legitimate store like this rather than getting boots on Broadway. Just because we actually, so we went to the store to buy these boots and then we were on Broadway later that night and found these exact boots in a store and they were $150 more. So these were $400 at the store and they were $550 on Broadway. So definitely feel like, I mean, $400 is not a deal, but definitely better than the markup on Broadway. So I'd suggest going straight to a store to get your boots rather than buying them on Broadway. Now the next legitimate Nashville purchase was this hat. I think it is the most gorgeous, gorgeous hat. I put it on right now that I have a clip in the back of my hair. But this is from the brand American Hat Makers and I did get this on Broadway. So I'd say the best place to get a hat would be Broadway unless you're looking for a more like stylish kind of, I don't know, like different hat. If you're looking for something like that, I'd say the boutiques everywhere. There was this one navy hat that I was obsessed with, but I needed just a kind of classic hat, so I definitely suggest Broadway for that. This one was 110, but they were actually having a deal, so I got it for 30% off, and I wore it the entire weekend, and I can't wait. I have a ton of country concerts coming up, so I plan on wearing all of this stuff for those. So next up, we went to Uncommon Jane's in the Gulch, and I got this gorgeous bracelet. It says Boss. I'll insert a picture if I have one. And I just think it's so dainty. Now I normally wear silver jewelry. I'm not a huge gold jewelry person, but I was just so attracted to this. I thought it just made the cutest little statement. And you can also adjust the length of the bracelet yourself. Whereas all my other bracelets, I have to have someone put them on me, which is kind of annoying. So I absolutely loved this from Uncommon Jane's. And then I also got an indoor outdoor blanket from there because we were going to the Dan and Shay concert at the Parthenon. It was the album release concert. And I just thought it would be nicer to, since the seats were general admission, I figured it would be better to just have a blanket and kind of sit on the ground rather than be in the crowd. So this blanket was absolutely perfect. I'm a huge fan of it. I think it's really nice quality. It was 50. And then I think the Boss bracelet was around 50 as well. Um, so they had this one in a different shade as well. There was kind of like a brown one, but I liked this one better. Um, so those are my two purchases from Uncommon James. And I mean, I would have bought more, but I knew we had a ton of other stores to go to. Um, but if you're in Nashville, I definitely suggest going to Uncommon James. So my next purchases came from Kittenish. So I didn't know, but 
Kitnish is a boutique owned by Jesse James Decker. And I got this bag that says Totally Kitnish. And I got her perfume, Frisky. Now, I'm not a huge perfume person. I do have, my favorite perfume is Daisy by Marc Jacobs. And I feel like that's a super spring scent. I mean, I wear it all year round, but if I had to categorize it for season, I'd say spring. And this Frisky scent, I would say this is an ultimate summer scent. I have never smelled anything like it. It's, oh, I don't even know how to describe it. You'd need to smell it yourself, but it is just an absolutely gorgeous scent. So both Julie and I got it. And this is gonna be my new go-to for summer. I just absolutely love it. I think it's such a unique smell. Never had anything like it, and it's just absolutely gorgeous. The entire store, so Kitnish in Nashville, is in the Gulch, which is where the same area that Uncommon James and my boots are from. So I'd say if you only have one day or maybe a few hours to go shopping, I'd say go to the Gulch. Just all of these adorable little boutiques, just totally fabulous. Kitnish, I did love. They had a bunch of clothes and I tried on a dress and a romper. I'll insert some clips, but unfortunately they were both too short for me. I have longer legs, so things tend, they need to be longer for me. Um, so I was sad that they didn't fit, but if you're shorter than me, then you could buy everything in the entire store. But that was super fun. Next up in the same area is a boutique called Blush. So I got these denim joggers and I just thought they were so unique like I've never seen anything like these and for being denim they're really comfortable they have kind of like the cinched bottom and the waist that you can tie yourself and I'd say the boutiques in Nashville are a little overwhelming when I walked in they just have as opposed to like a classic store so if you walk into Nordstrom like there's a rack and it has the same piece of clothing in three different colors Boutiques in Nashville, one rack could have 50 different items of clothing, and so for me it was a little overwhelming, but I found these and I just fell in love, had to have them. So again, in the Gulch. And these were, I think these were 50, I think the perfume was 60, and I think the bag was like 10. Um, the taxes are actually pretty high in Nashville, I think it ends up being like, 9% on everything so it makes it all seem like a lot more expensive. Continuing on I have this gorgeous suede jacket. It is a blank NYC jacket. I think it was about 120 um, and it's kind of tan, orange, pink, just the most fabulous colors. I believe it was from the store Rev in I want to say Hillsboro Village, um, just absolutely fabulous, like it feels so wonderful. Right after I bought that jacket, I bought this gorgeous bag which is normally $600 and it was on sale for $150. I think it is just the most gorgeous, unique bag ever. I didn't know the name Monsieur Gabriel, I don't know how to say that, but I just thought it was so unique and I think once you have kind of your classic set of purses, you don't really need more classic ones. So I think this one was special enough to catch my attention. I got this at, I think it's UAL and basically they have designer pieces at a discount. So absolutely fabulous. Next up I got this, I call it kind of like a tennis athletic dress. Um, these are really popular right now. I got it in black from Outdoor Voices and this store is on 12th, I think it's called 12th Street and basically it's just a bunch of houses that have been converted into shops so a really cool area. Some had you know jewelry stores, this one had all athletic wear and apparently they're a chain and there's one in Georgetown so I definitely want to check that out soon but this one fit me, I think it was like 80, oh, $100. Um, just so, so cute, so flattering, just 
black looks good on everyone. I tried on a navy one and it was really cute, but I just think the black was really just cinched me in. Next up, I got this belt, which might not be for everyone, but I really wanted just a super southern belt with like a big chunky, what is this called? Just this piece being huge, like I absolutely loved it. And I love all of the little star detailing. It was $100 at the boot barn on Broadway, but I had them put in some extra holes so that I could wear it around my waist, but also wear it as a classic belt. Um, so I'm absolutely obsessed with this. I think this is just so Nashville, so Southern, just everything I could have wanted. Next up at the Dan and Shay concert, of course I had to get a concert tee. This one says Dan and Shay in pink and on the back it says think good things and I just think this shirt is all good vibes. The concert almost got canceled because of bad weather but just you know thinking good things got us through and I just I absolutely loved this shirt. So if you're going to Nashville I say definitely make time to go to a concert. There is live music at all of the bars on Broadway, which is definitely fun, but if you have a specific country artist that you want to see, I definitely suggest getting tickets to see them and getting yourself a concert tee. Another tee I got, that one was 35 the Dan and Shay one. This one I think was 40 it was more expensive, it was from Rev, and it says Nash, but it's really cool because it's kind of raised. I don't know how they did that, but it's just so unique. I've never seen a shirt like this and it looks so cute with the denim joggers and the suede jacket just like all together. It is an absolute look. So obsessed with this shirt. They had it in a bunch of different colors. Julie got it in an olive. They had like a lavender. They had a really light blue, uh, but I was just really attracted to this like ivory white. So definitely suggest getting yourself something that says Nash. Um, I know they had a bunch of cute baseball caps, they had sweatshirts, um, but this just kind of like raised shirt was just so unique to me. Getting into kind of food items, I got this biscuit mix from White White's Merchantile, Mercantile, I don't know how to say that, um, but I think this was like, yeah, $10 biscuit mix, and all you have to do is add buttermilk to it, and this package makes up to 50 biscuits, so I'm so excited to try this. From that store, I also got this puzzle for my parents. Ever since quarantine, they've been obsessed with doing puzzles, so I just thought this would be cute for them to do. This was $25. And last but not least, we went to L&L &L Market, or Marketplace, Market. It was just a bunch of indoor shopping. Now we didn't do a bunch of shopping there just because it was a lot of home items. And I mean, you can't really take like a pillow home with you unless you ship it. Um, but they did have Marigold Gourmet Popcorn. So I got the caramel and ate that while I was there. I think these were like $4.50 for each of these. So I got my parents the white cheddar and I got my boyfriend the cheddar. So I cannot wait to try these. It's gonna be so tasty. The caramel was perfect. If you've ever been to Garrett's in Chicago, the caramel tasted exactly like theirs. Just so, so tasty. So that is it for my $1,500 Nashville haul. I know it seems like a lot, but in these times you never know when you're going to be able to go somewhere. I have no idea when I'm going to Nashville again, and I just thought all of these items were so unique and special, so western, things that I wouldn't buy where I'm from. So. I am ecstatic about all of my purchases. I'll leave all the links below that I can find that aren't, you know, boutique-y and you have to go. Um, but if you are going to Nashville, definitely go shopping. Don't just stay on Broadway. Go explore. At the Gulch, not only do they have the best shopping, they also have Biscuit Love, which had just really tasty um, biscuit donuts. So I definitely suggest just looking into everything, traveling everywhere when you're there, do your research beforehand so you know where you want to shop and 
Thank you for tuning in. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and thanks guys.